Click the links for Odyssey, BitChute, Gab TV, Telegram, or to join this channel, become a member, and get access to the uh, the videos that never make it out of monetization limbo. So apparently, everyone who disagrees with the left is a fascist these days because you're dealing with mentally ill liberals, and um, I mean that mentally ill liberal part. If you look at the folks on the the left, the incidences of uh, there's a, a meme going around Twitter where they're talking about uh, the need for the left wing to uh, arm up and with the you know get some experience with liberty devices. And then there's a whole string of them explaining that, yeah, that's not really what we're all about. I'm very depressed and I don't want that thing around because I'm more likely to use it on myself. Or, or loud noises will trigger my PTSD. It's going around Gab, too. It's freaking hysterical. Um, so Disney. Disney leaves behind Walt, Walt Disney. Does Disney align with your family's values? No. Current modern Disney is a bunch of filthy parasites. Like, if you're not clued into that by now, I mean, where have you been this whole time? Disney used to be an entertainment company, and it was a, a family-focused entertainment company. Uh, with it would probably had its best days pre-2000. Now it's not. These are not entertainment companies anymore. This primary goal is to subvert and corrupt nationalism, uh, Christians, and the family. Uh, the whole thing about, we're going to subvert the heteronormative patriarchy. Well, that, that's kind of a problem because the nuclear family, or is it nuclear family, uh, tribalism and nationalism, well, that's what build a stable civilization. And I feel like more and more people have just got to kind of say this, um, the basic truth is like, oh, no, 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 patriarchy, that's a good thing. Yeah, men are, men are, conservative men are just better. The probability is they're going to make better decisions over time more often than uh, any other group. Oh, oh, you can't say that. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to have to start saying that. Otherwise, you're heading down the, this path. Uh, a conservative asks why a fence is in place before you rush to tear it down. Hey, what was a what oh we were keeping lions out. Oh, yeah, but we're going to we're going to diversify ourselves with lions and tear down this fence. My generation will tear it down. Yeah, yeah, um O'Rourke, but you live in a gated community. So um it's like you don't really have to deal you start the fire but you miss the fire fight. You don't have to deal with the consequences of your decisions. So Disney is one facet of this Marxist crystal it's one example of how cultural bolsheviks subvert and destroy a nation with degeneracy they're tearing down some of the foundations of civilization that they could never hope to build themselves um what will their new world order look like uh, well i don't know how every time they they try to get something together and create some kind of uh some kind of organization some kind of you saw what the, what happened with the chats. It's like, oh, this is all of us. We're all going to work together. Uh, no, this is like the POC garden. Oh, no, this is the BIPOC garden. And it's like, they just, they just never, end. they they can, these people can do nothing. What can they do? Um, they can starve tens of millions of people. Oh, you only say that because it's historically accurate. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say it. Uh, because so far, diversity, inclusion, and equality, or did they use a little cultural Marxist and change equality to equity? Uh, yeah, plot twist, uh, people aren't, aren't equal. It's just kind of the reality of the world. Is looking a lot like Weimar. Uh, we have drag queen story hour and glassy-eyed bovine parents who are cutting their kids' genitals off. Which I suppose is sort of Darwinism. So the next step is just what what open child sales for Adrenochrome instead of uh, the Sub Rosa sales that are already going on. Companies like Disney and Netflix and the rest are leading the way with cultural Marxism. There's I think it's Black Pilled on Odyssey did a video on that panda movie. It was set in Canada like 15 years ago. I think it was by Disney. I forget what it's called. I did a video on. It. I already forgot the name of it. That type of movie, they are not shy with their subversion. He goes through the whole thing and points out every little, every little obvious and sometimes not so obvious bit of propaganda that they put in the movie. It's it's dirty. The people who made it are dirty. They're globalist degenerates who lack a moral core, mostly because they worship Satan. But Satan, kind of in the sense of like the softer, gentler path, just. Entropy and enthalpy just 
filth and corruption. Uh, so this is not Walt's Disney. Obviously, those days are way, way... I, I don't know. I think Disney might have peaked in the 80s or the 90s when they had this... And I think in the 90s, they had a whole huge slew of hit uh, animation series that was... That I kind of, I think, in peak 90s. And they were woke back then, but I, my God, they've just... I, I, you'd have to look through the management history of, uh, uh, of Disney. They've been woke for a long time. But I mean, now they're they've kind of crossed over into being unwatchably woke. So because uh, these people are communists, and I use globalist, communist, Marxist, whatever, uh, and a lot of those terms in, interchangeably. It's not really accurate, but from thirty thousand feet, it, it's okay. They're corruption. Anything that works, they will seek it out and diversify it to destruction. Which even to say that is probably verboten, wrong thing. But it's the same story every time. Some guys create something, uh, usually white, Christian, fascist males, because they're awesome. Those guys are awesome at building and innovating, creating new ideas. Uh, it is what it is. There's the triangle of um, innovation and uh, uh, civilization for, for Western Europe. It's like England, France, Germany, Holland, I think. it's just, You look at like 90% of these ideas have come out of this group of, uh, this group of Western European uh, men. But due to their pathological levels of altruism, they allow themselves to be subverted by people who could not have created the thing in the first place. Uh, this isn't Disney, but uh, this is clo close enough. I don't know if you can see the uh, difference between the left and the right. The people who started the whatever it was, they started some idea. And then the guys who, who left the industry were there, uh, the company for whatever reason. And then the new company, and it's like, oh, it's 90% chicks who are between in their 20s and 30s. Some of them are blue haired, but it's, I mean, it's it's like it, it's a it's a woman company now. I, they didn't create it. Why don't why don't women just, women just start from the beginning and create something fresh? Because usually women fight like cats in a bag. Like if you had a dozen women working together to create something, it's like you never stop to think like, oh, isn't that kind of weird that you don't really see that that often? Yes, there are examples every once in a while. It's like, but you really don't see it that often. Why? Because they just they just don't get along with each other for whatever reason. I don't know if it, it's bi bi it's probably biological. There's probably some biological reason where they need enough men mixed in to um, kind of smooth things out like, um, I don't know, carbon in the in the reactor sink or something um, to either, I, I don't know, whatever it, whatever it is, it's like you got to have a mix. Like too many women, they just don't, don't seem to work too well. But they can come along after something is created. It's like, oh, so what happens to the, what happens to the idea that these, a bunch of white guys, a bunch of Polish guys probably created? Oh, it's not quite the same project. It's woke, it's diverse, it's inclusion. Yeah, but it's not what it's not what people it's a bait and switch. It's like they do that repeatedly for every property you see from video games to movies to comic books. It's the bait and switch comp con J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, Rings of Power. You look at the casting, they showed some Twitter thing, or they showed the new cast of Rings of Power. Like, wait a minute, that doesn't quite look like the first four movies, the the, the Hobbit and the the Lord of the Rings movies. It looks like uh, uh, doesn't quite doesn't quite look like this this Eurocentric setting that uh, Tolkien created. Why is that? Why? Did, why? <laughs> oh well, we're just updating it. Yeah, but you guys couldn't have created you couldn't have created the new thing. You couldn't have created it to start with because like you're parasites. You just destroy things. Why don't you just start fresh and create some some woke abortion? I mean, it like uh, that's the answer is like cuz they'll create a woke abortion that won't sell. So what did he say that was so haram that they had to get rid of it? Uh the opening spiel says to all come to this happy place. Welcome to Disneyland is your land here age um Age relives fond memories of the past, and here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the, the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. That is, uh, that's too far right wing now. Because uh, any, any little bit of nationalism, well, what do globalists do? They destroy nationalism. And it, it's like you have to say a lot of this stuff over and over again until you realize, like, yeah, yeah, these people are glo globalists. And you're probably not a globalist. You're probably a nationalist. You want to live in order and structure and tribalism and continuity. Um, that's they're globalists. They are the adversary. They have interests adverse to yours. You're gonna kind of pull your head out of your sand and, sand and go like, 
yeah, this is one example. Disney, Disney is just one little example of, of the cultural Marxism. They have interests adverse to yours because they're globalists. Globalists destroy nations. Too base for YouTube? Probably not. I think I got around the algorithm. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, join me over on Subscribe Star if you can, and I will see you guys all next episode.